All right, next we're gonna go over the draw play. So the draw play is uh, what it says it means. It means you have to draw a card if it's played. So we've got player A here and player B here. And say we got player C there. And um, so let's um, let's put that right here for that guy. So if you play a draw card, this person has to draw a card. Simple as that. Okay, that's how the draw play works. Now, there is something called chaining in this game where you can chain cards together. So this is typically a house rule that's been played before uh, in other uh, familiar games or type of games, shedding type games. So if this player has a draw play, uh, he can, regardless if he has sets or anything down, he can get rid of this card and it will chain that together and then now the next person has to draw two. Plus one, plus one right there. So um, it's called chaining and as well as it's considered a defensive mode. So in a defensive mode, you don't have to get rid of a card uh, in a normal rule. If you don't have any sets or streaks down, you have to pick up a card. In this situation, you don't have to. You can get rid of this just to keep it simple. And then now this guy has to draw two. Now, if this guy happens to have a draw play, which he does because I put one there, um, now he added to it, and now this person has to draw three. Okay. Now, if this person is lucky enough to have another draw, which he does, because I put it there for this example, um, the top draw player, the, the, the spade card, is a plus two. So if you lay this down, now it's two, three, four, five, and this guy has to pick up five cards.